Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech, and today we are going to unlock the bootloader of the Pixel 2 XL. Okay, so I just booted the Pixel 2 XL. I didn't set anything, I skipped all the settings since uh, when we opened the bootloader, we actually factory reset the device. We have to. There is no other way, at least not far as I know. Now, first of all, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to enable uh, the developer options. We are going to go to system, we are going to go to about, and we are going to press on the build number seven times. About seven times. Now, uh, you are now a developer. Okay, we can go back, go to developer options. Developer options are already enabled and we are going to enable first of all USB debugging so we can control the uh, pixel to excel uh, with fastboot and ADB. Now we're going here to OEM unlock. Okay, it seems we'll have to connect it to the internet. So I'll connect it now to the internet and we will be able to continue. Okay, now that we are connected to the internet we can go ahead and press OEM unlock. Warning! Device protection feature will not work on this device while well, this setting is turned on, we know that. Enable. And from now on we don't really need our ROM, we can basically install the ADB drivers onto our computer and then start doing all the magic on the computer. So let's go ahead to the computer and start it. Okay, so first of all I want to say one thing. For some reason some USB A to C cables don't work well. For some reason I could not unlock the bootloader while using uh, my regular USB A to C cable while using another regular USB to micro USB with an adapter. Uh, the phone only charged but uh, the PC didn't recognize it and the phone didn't recognize any connection to a PC. So if you have that issue, try a different computer, try a different cable, uh, it should work. I don't know why, maybe it's some certified cables or some different cabling, I'm not really sure. Now uh, let's go ahead again to our computer, to the main computer, I won't use my laptop for this. And we should be able now to restart to our bootloader. So let's go ahead and first of all choose ADB reboot bootloader. And as you can see, the phone now reboots into the bootloader. And here we are. Now I'm going to use the command fastboot flashing unlock. But please note that for some devices you might need to use fastboot flashing unlock underscore critical. But for now I'll use the unlock, I think it works. Uh, it showed me the unlocking screen before. Let's go ahead. And as you can see, uh, on the phone, unlocking the bootloader allows you blah 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 blah, I'm not going to read it all. Uh, we can use uh, the volume key up to go to this and press the power button. And now it should, I think, restart automatically. Or should it? I'm not fully sure. Let's restart. I think, maybe start. Yeah, okay, so now our bootloader is unlocked, that's it, we're pretty much finished and obviously now it should, as far as I know, erase everything. Okay, you see the unlock uh, lock here and here it's erasing now everything from the phone and now after I'm booted up, I can finally install everything on the phone, I can finally use it and I'm not worried if something happens with... Uh, the Snapdragon 835, like it happened on the Nexus 6P, I know that someone in SDA probably will be good enough and will create another uh, fin uh, or another method to actually boot up the device. I will be able to fix ROMs if something happens. I will be able to install custom ROMs. I will be able to use DWP, etc. Uh, I'm free. Now, uh, one thing to mention. There are some new apps that can recognize that uh, your bootloader is unlocked or that something is tampered with the system. Uh, like for example, the only thing that I know is Android Pay. If you live in a country that you can use Android Pay, 
check first if uh, you do need to use Android Pay if you want to use it. For my country, sadly, it's not available, so currently I can unlock the bootloader. If the bootloader is unlocked, Android Pay will not work. I think it's the same for Samsung Pay on Samsung devices, I'm not really sure. But this is it, as you can see, this is the main screen of a Pixel 2 XL when we first booted it up. That's it, we are erased, we are with unlocked bootloader. So that's pretty much it, now our bootloader is unlocked. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.